Pro War Gamers, Spirit Warrior 40k here. Um, yeah, I uh, just wanted to um, kind of do a a bat rep, kind of just just. It's not a weekly update. It's not a bat rep because obviously you're not going to see me fighting one. It's just more of a an update on my my gaming. So yesterday I uh, went down to Games Workshop uh, in Dudley, uh, Mary Hill, as I do most weeks, um, and played against a gent called Roger. I think it's Roger. It wasn't Rufus. It was one of the two. I'm sure it's Roger. Um, he bought his Chaos Army. Um, so it was interesting. I've never fought Chaos before, so I've, I've done Space Marines. I've done Tyranids now. Um, so it was it was interesting. From what I I, I got from the uh, the other people in the shop, it was going to be two turns, and I'm off the board. Um, so it was wasn't overly hopeful, but I was just it was just nice to sort of try a different army and sort of gain just improve that knowledge of um, of finding someone different. So a uh, tip for anyone that's, that's that's new or coming into the hobby, just to fight anyone and anything. Um, the biggest issue I have now isn't tactically where to place my models um, at the deployments. It's still growing, but it's not the main problem. It's just the fact that I don't know any other army. Um, you know, I don't know their 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 saves, their their ranges, anything like that. Um, I think that's kind of standard. You know, if if you're not collecting every single army then why would you know it you know so um generally what i learned was lots of psychic powers um they've got the, the he had a lot of cultists which were quite easy to, to, to sort of get rid of but he had tons of them i think he had two units of 20 um you know he had things like uh a, a, a thing called dug in which meant it was like plus one um on his saves um yeah um and also he's, he had some big hitters um not in terms of characters um which i kind of dealt with quite well um you know i, I took out his demon prince and he had a sorcerer which I, I managed to get take out as well but he had these these deep strike units that were kind of like terminators but i mean there was two units of three and i just he deep stroked them on top of structure so i just couldn't get to them and to be fair i don't think i would have done much at that point anyway because he brought them down on turn three um, which was, I don't know, by this time I'm sort of getting a bit low on units. Um, so, generally, so this scenario, we had, um, the deployment was uh, somewhere in the middle, and then obviously he gets the four corners. Um, I decided to take the middle, because I'd, I'd done this deployment before, uh, and and I took the outsides. So I thought, oh, we'll see what, we, what it's like going in the middle. Um, I've got quite a, a few shooty guys, um, now, now they've got the wave serpents, um, obviously close combat, so I can sort of try and stop them. Um, yes, yeah, so that was the deployment. Um, objectives, um, we had a, an objective right in the centre, and then I got to place one, place one nice and high on top of a building. It's my, my fast jet bikes, because they fly, they, they don't, they ignore cover, um, cover and stuff, so they just sit up there, and he stuck one in a building, in his corner, so I, there was no way I was going to get to it. But um, yeah, what was the uh, the twist? Um, twist was um, orbital bombardment. So each turn we roll, or each of our turns we roll three dice on sixes, d three mortal wounds to anyone. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, up to about I think I think I we got to turn four. Yeah, we ended on turn four. Um, I he, he wiped me out um, uh, at the end of his turn four because I went first. Um, yeah, it went. Really, I'm surprised I got to turn four. To be fair, to be fair, I was quite impressed. Um, and literally, he had to wipe me off the table by the end of that turn. Well, by the end of turn five, because if I'd have, I was winning. I think seven, seven two on objective on on um, objective points. So I would have won if I hadn't been tabled. But um, it was a really good fight. Um, I didn't manage to get anything from the orbital bombardment, but he ended up, he got, um, I think, two sixes on one. So I got D, I got two D3 mortal wounds. Um, he put it all on my wave serpent. So on my wave serpent, I think this was on turn two. No, or turn three. Turn three. And it kind of went down from ten wounds down to two. Ten to two. With some of the firepower. So, and... 
that kind of was my 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 last big hitter. Um, yeah, uh, I used a German. Um, kind of forgot about him if I'm honest. I used him to to give to keep near my banshees because the banshees and uh, fire dragons were in the wave serpent. Bought them out on turn two, sort of much uh, got that so I could get some some damage on some of his bigger hitters. Um, yeah, the the fire dragons they did they didn't they did their job. Um, if I'm honest, in in turn two, but then they got they got wiped out in turn three. Um, just yeah, they just don't have. You get them out and you you know you fire them. Uh, I think I fired him against some cultists, which I know is not the point, but I needed to get to his sorcerer, so it was a case of, and I had some other bigger things to attack his sorcerer with, so it was a case of trying to thin that line, and in the it just didn't happen. So um, mistake on naivety, my mistake, mistake on my part, but I needed to get to that sorcerer to sort of stop him from from advancing anymore. So yeah, um, but then they, they got wiped out in turn three. The banshees. They did all right. They they got into combat with his cultists and pretty much took them all out. But they went down from six models down to three just in the Overwatch because he had flamers. Um, but yeah, like I said, Azurman I used to keep give the those um, aspect warriors the five up invulnerable save um, and didn't really get him into combat enough. Which to me is you know you want him in combat like we've we've done on the um, the Tactica. Um, yeah, gonna have a look on the Tactica. It's down there somewhere. Um, so yeah, so that didn't really pan out. Uh, but when he did get into combat, I think he, he took out he took on his Demon Prince. Was it Demon Prince? Yeah, and um, took him down. Took the Demon Prince down to two wounds, and then um, it was my turn next because he charged me. Um, and I think we were both on two wounds, so I did the more damage. But then when it was my turn on turn four, yeah, on my my fighting phase, he used a stratagem to interrupt and then he took out a German. Um, yeah, which was a shame. <laughs> I didn't even know he had that stratagem. Um, yeah, Giro did really well. Um, used him for buffs, for um, rerolls of one um, to start with. Then trying to move him into combat, he took out the sorcerer and he got there in, in one turn. And then he took, he moved back to take out the Excuse me. Remaining two wounds on the Demon Prince, um, massive overkill. Um, yeah, I think again, it's that. Do you use him for buffs or do you use him to get him into combat? Um, I think maybe I could have tried to get him into combat one turn earlier, because um, by this time the only thing that was getting buffed was the um, the Wave Serpent, and it was down to two wounds, so it was going to die. So there was just. I don't know. Maybe he just sort of should have got him a turn earlier. Um, yeah, the farseer. I just I literally stuck the farseer on top of that objective in on top of the building. Um, didn't shoot really at all. Just using for psychic powers, uh, fortune on my um, wraith lord because he was taking a bit of a pounding, but uh, he did really well. Um, and then, what else did we do? A lot of guide, yeah. We guide, guided everywhere. Couldn't really do Doom because their models were just too out, too far out of range because they were on the corners and I was right in the centre. Um, yeah, so it worked really well. Um, did some really good denies. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, so... Overall, I was quite pleased with how the army worked. The feedback from from Roger, yep, um, we we'll go with that. Uh, was I need some units just to protect um, things like fire dragons and stuff. And um, he mentioned guardians. I'm not putting guardians in my 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 unit if I'm honest, guys. Um, the next model is hopefully Christmas. Fingers crossed. Um, will be some wraith blades, some wraith wraith guard, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, if you were to put wraith, if you were to put sorry, um, some guardians in front of the dragons, they can still fire at them. So, how would you protect them? I mean, like I said, you, I've got them in a wave serpent. They get out, they forward. I mean, I guess the objective is to take out something big, you know, in, in one round. Um, I mean, they do d6 damage. Um, 
it's just, you know, you're going to lose them if they get charged or if they get attacked because they're only toughness three. So if anyone can give me advice on how to keep those that unit safe, please comment below because I could really do with, with, with that. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean they've got a 12-inch firing range. The Fire Pike has an 18. So... Yeah, like I said, guys, comment below. Um, could do with some some help on how to keep them safe after the, the after the one round, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know. Do you, do you put something big in front in front of them? You know, do you, do you march them up behind a, a wraith, nice. But again, the wraith, not the wraith, not the wraith lord. But then, like I said, that got tabled in turn three, I think, because he did some good fire. Then we. I mean, it was, he got down to two wounds, so I, I moved him up the eight, the the six inches, the lowest bracket, um, which will be won't be a problem next time because I'll have a codex, um, and then we charged him in, and then again the guy used his um, his interrupt on charges and just took me out before I even got a shot off um, with his big ghost glaive thing. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna play again next week, um, next Thursday. I said, you know, do you fancy another game? Because uh, I've got the codex next time, so I might be able to get a bit, get some better uh, stratagems and stuff. Um, I'm picking my codex up on Sunday. I ordered it yesterday. Um, Connor, he's going to uh, get at me for Sunday. Um, so yeah, so I've got, I've got the kids, so it'll be church. Get the codex from Mary Hill, and then I'll take them to some wacky uh, while I read it. <laughs> Um, I like the cards as well. Uh, I like the cards. I was looking at the bones bone singer to add in, to, but uh, one I can't afford the ten quid for it at the moment, um, which is a shame. But if I'm honest, I don't like it. I know it would go really well with like, my wraith constructs and stuff, but it's D three repair on one model. You know, so if you say you use the uh, is it the cytronome of Eandon? You know, you've got that extra attack than each. I don't know if it's each model or each unit or the units. I can't remember. I will check that, guys. Um, it takes D three mortal wounds. So if each model then takes one wound or two wounds, because um, they die in three, then you've got this this guy. You can only repair one. So and it's D three. So if he, you know, if you've got if you've got say f five wraiths and all of them have taken two wounds, and then the guy rolls a one, so one goes up. You've got four on one wound and then one on two it's it's not gonna you know it's not the best um and for 70 points i don't know the codex from what i've gathered has dropped me a load of points so i might be able to put something in there like i said if if people think if people will advise me that the guardians will be best to put in there to um to help defend those dragons personally i don't think they will but if someone's got better knowledge than me please let me know um yeah, I could possibly get some of those in with the save with the the uh, points that I've saved. Um, yeah, not really sure how I'm going to use the points if I'm honest. Um, if it works, if I get enough points, might take Fugan because I do think he's awesome. If I'm honest, um, he might maybe give those dragons a bit of an inborn save up or something maybe. So I, I need to check the rules on that. But um, I don't know if I'm going to save that many points. Um, so we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Like I said, it was just a, a small bat rep. Uh, like I said, I know you haven't seen anything. I do apologise. I just don't have the the ability to do. It. I don't. I mean, I've got like a table set up in my garage, um, and I've got uh, you know probably thirty points worth, power points worth of dark angels that we can have a go with. Um, but the lighting's not great, um, and this thing will shake like this, or it will be shaky all over the place like that. Um, as I'm doing it, so um, yeah, I'm looking to see if my brother can lend me a camera, um, but we'll see if that makes any difference. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Like I said, um, gosh, 40 minutes. I didn't realise we'd talk for that long. Um, yeah, so nice shout out to Roger, um, Root, yeah, for the the battle. Really enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, do uh, we'll do well next week um, with the codex. Um, yeah. Uh, um, there's no other shout out. Oh, I will guess. Shout out to Nick at IDIC BF40K. Um, he does some really good videos, guys. Um, shout out to Striking Scorpion again, uh, 82. 
wicked great tutorials, painting and tactica and um, battle reports. Um, seems to be getting a bit thin on the ground now, so I don't know if he's going on holiday, but if you do, Luke, can I have some more? Um, and preferably Eldar! Up the Eldar! Um, and yeah, and also, um, but anyway, I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I uh, have far too little uh, subscribers. Um, yeah, and uh, games, I just shout out to gamesmap.eu. They do some great um, maps and some terrain. I'm hoping to get some for Christmas. That might help with the, uh, the battle reports um, if we, after Christmas, maybe we'll see. Um, yeah, so if you like the video, guys, subscribe and comment below. Please comment. People don't comment. Comment, comment, comment. I want to talk to you. Um, and yeah, let your friends know. Shout me out to them um, for some Eldar and we'll see how that goes. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.